I have. I have a dream. I have the high ground. I have nothing. A mystery box. Addressed to me. Um, nothing else on it. I'm sure the title of the video will give away what it is, but for now, for me, I'm in the dark. It's a mystery box. Let's get on with the unboxing. What's up dudes and dudettes, all you awesome people. Welcome to the Geeky Heathen channel. I am Glenn, the Geeky Heathen. Now, I think I know what this is. I'm not 100% certain. <laughs> uh, I did have a patron re reach out to me to say he sent me a lockdown gift. It could be this, but also my good friend on YouTube is also sending me some pops that I know about. So, the only way to find out what this is, is to get the Dragon Sword and crack it open. Okay, I am in. See some bubble wrap and I can see a note on there. Let's grab the note first of all. <laughs> the note is attached to a bit of cardboard taped to it. A little bit of a note. Oh! I recognize this symbol. <laughs> so this is from, yeah, I thought so. This is from McDougal Strudel, one of my Patreons, one of my supporters of my channel. And I remember seeing this the first time. He gave me a Z box and he changed the symbol off the Z to a GH like this, making it geeky heathen. I absolutely love that. That logo is fantastic. Um, he messaged me to. He messaged me only. I think it was only yesterday. Maybe the day before. He messaged me very recently and asked me what Rick pops I have because he knows I'm collecting Rick pops, and he had one spare. Uh, but he wanted to find out if I had it or not. Um, I sent him my list and he said, no, you have got it, that's a shame. But I'm still sending you a lockdown box. It should be with you very soon. And he said it includes an item painstakingly made with, from by his wife. But let's read the note. Glenn, please find enclosed a small lockdown gift for you and your fiance. My wife has designed and knitted a one-of-a-kind scarf and I have found a Jack Mini Vinny Mates to complete your fiance's collection. Hopefully she doesn't have it already. Take care. Wishing you all the best. Mark, a.k.a. McDoodle Strudel. I know she doesn't have Jack Vinnie Mates yet. That's the only one missing from the collection. She is going to absolutely love this. And a knitted scarf. I feel like I'm in Hogwarts. Oh, I've got presents. Yeah. This, this, this sounds amazing. Oh, dude, you seriously don't have to send me any gifts. Oh, I'm getting all mushy already. Haven't you? Haven't even opened the items yet? Right. So first of all, then, let's get the Vinnie mates out. He's wrapped this nicely. Lots of uh, paper around it to keep it nice, safe, and secure. And bubble wrap around the items. My fiance is going to absolutely go crazy when I show her this. <laughs> I'm talking quietly because she's actually in the other room. She might hear me recording. <laughs> oh, check this out. Vinnie Mates Jack Skeleton vinyl review. Oh, side art is amazing on this. Now, I said she has, oh, wrong way, the mayor, Oogie, and Sally. And this is the last one. You can see they're kind of like Lego figures. I had one a few years ago. Um, I'm not going to take this out of box. I'll keep it in box for now and I shall allow her to unbox that. She'll absolutely love it. Um, thank you so much. Honestly, it means so much to me. That does. And I can assure you that my fiance fairy, she's going to freak out. She's really does finish the collection. Uh, On to the scarf. Oh, there's something in the bottom there as well. I 
just seen. Oh my goodness. There's artwork on the back. I haven't even looked at a scarf yet. Oh my gosh. Oh, we have me cry on the screen. It's me in like pop form. Check this out. I've got a Kiki Heaven logo t shirt on. The tattoos. Look at the tattoos. They're spot on. And that's my my hat. Oh, my beard was a bit longer then as well. Like I've trimmed I trimmed my beard down because I've gone back to work and I had to wear a mask. So the long, long beard was too much. But I trimmed it down slightly, I'm gonna grow it back again. But Oh my gosh. I'm stunned. I, I can't believe this. I can't stop looking at it. That's my end pose. I love it. I love this so much. Oh my goodness, I need to get this framed. I can't wait to show the world this. You are so talented. I wish I could draw like this. Uh, the Geeky Heaven logo t-shirt as well. Oh man, I, I would love to be able to afford to get some t-shirts out like this and designs out for people. Oh my goodness me. You always made me cry on camera. <laughs> right. <laughs> the scarf. This is a big <gasps> Are you kidding me? I don't know how I'm going to show this to you. This is so long. This. <sighs> this is too much, guys. <laughs> Oh, put it together, man. <laughs> Look at this scarf. It's double-sided. One side. It says, stay awesome. And it's got my hands. Almost like the EMP symbol that is. Oh. Just look at that. And then the other side... The Geeky Heaven. I'm struggling to display this because it's so amazing. Look at, just look, wrong way around, that way. Look at that, knitted. And then the Geeky Heaven. And the same again on this side. This is so amazing. I want to have this mounted on the wall somewhere. I don't think I want to wear that as a scarf. <sighs> um, Mrs. McDougal Strudel, you have really, really, really made my day. Oh, I can't believe this. I can't. I'm tired. Oh. Thank you. Thank you so much, <laughs> honestly. <coughs> oh, oh my! How long did that take you to make? That is phenomenal. I have so many amazing, amazing fans out there, and patrons, and friends who want to know through my YouTube journey. This has really, really touched me, um, guys. There's something else in the bottom of the box as well. I don't know what this is. It's bubble wrapped <laughs> nicely. Uh, loads and loads of bubble wrap around this. A uh, piece of cardboard. So it looks like it's cardboard. Ah, oh, excellent. 2000 AD, right. So nice. 2000 AD comics. I'm. 2000 AD is my favourite comics of them all. Green Death on the Red Planet. Check this out. So I haven't. I keep saying it's my favourite comics, only because I read a lot of them when I was younger, but mainly Dread. Check this out. So this is Green Death on the Red Planet. This looks interesting. This looks very much like, almost like a Warhammer Forty Thousand Space Marine with a big hammer <laughs> on his hand though instead of a chainsaw. Really interested in reading that, and also Two Thousand AD. What I confess. Um, Dread movie special 
exclusive Dread prologue story. Ooh, that's interesting. Tremble in the face of future law enforcement. Let's have a look at some of the artwork in this. Oh yeah. This is the art this is the comics I grew up with. This is what I know and love. A little bit of dread. Black and white dread as well. And let's try and find another colour page. There we go. Oh amazing. Uh, oh I like the artwork on the back of this green death from above. Oh it's I love these comics that scroll around so you can open them up. Let me just try and get sort of almost halfway. Look at that artwork. That looks phenomenal. And inside the book. Some artwork. Really, really looking forward to reading these. Um, that's that box. Speechless. Um, McDougal Strudel and Mrs. McDougal Strudel. I love you both. You guys are absolutely amazing. I cannot believe this scarf and I can't believe this picture. You guys are so incredibly talented. It absolutely blows my mind when people are as talented as this and they can do things like this. And that's such a kind act to send this to me. Thank you so much. Um, and, you, and you're one of my Patreons, you support me on Patreon as well, which really, really helps me to continue making these videos. <sighs> Guys, I'm going to end it here. I don't want to get too much of your camera. Um, question of the day, how amazing is Dougal Jewel and his missus? How amazing is this box, this gift they sent me? Um, one thing I love about the geek community in general not just Funko Pops, not just geek collectors, but the geek community in general and people I've got to know on YouTube, they're all so kind and they all we all understand and love one another. Guys, I'm going to end it here. <laughs> I'm the Geeky Heathen. As always, much love and until next time, stay awesome.